Hi, I'm Mr. Omingyo. Okay, I'm going to go through how do you draw the tip to tail method to find the resultant force of uh, these two non parallel forces 32 Newton and 40 Newton and separated by an angle of 115 degrees. Okay, uh, same thing. First of all, this is a four mark question. And the first mark here, it goes to the scale. Okay, before we start right, we have to estimate uh, the area that is given to us and we have to come up with a skill that can that we can fully maximize the area given. Okay, this is uh, 32 Newton and 40 Newton. So, in this case, we can use a scale of like uh, 1 cm is to 4 Newton. Okay, so 32 Newton will require 8 cm. So, 8 cm here and 40 Newton will require 10 cm. So you do an estimation and you find that uh, for this skill we can fit the we can fit the diagram uh, into the area here. Okay, so we can proceed on. Okay, first of all let's draw the 32 Newton. 32 Newton it will be 8 cm. So let's draw it 8 cm. And there's an angle of 115 degrees in between them. So let's take a protractor and measure 115. Okay, this 40 Newton, it will be 10 cm. So let's draw 10 cm. Okay, draw in the arrow. Label the forces. 32 Newton and 40 Newton okay um, just a reminder when you want to use tip to tail method right you must make sure that the the tip of the first force touches the tail of the second force so in this case this criteria is fulfilled okay now let's draw the resultant force okay the resultant force will be from the tail of the of the first force to the tip of the last force This will be the resultant force, so let's label. And this angle is 115 degrees. Okay, let's measure let's measure the total length. Okay, this length is about 15.4 cm. So Let's convert it to Newton. So we will times 4 to this. Uh, we will get 61.6 Newton. Okay. So let's just write down the resultant force is equal to 61.6 Newton. And this will be our third mark. Okay. And our fourth mark goes to the direction of the force. So for direction of the resultant force, we always reference it to to either one of the forces given. So in this case, let's reference it to 32 Newton force. Okay, let's measure the angle in between the 32 Newton force and the resultant force. And we find that it's about 38 degrees. Okay, so we can write down the resultant force is 38 degrees clockwise from the 32 Newton force. 